the one and the only Tracy Morgan. He stars as Trey Barker in The Last OG. In season one, we watched as Trey adjusted to life in his newly gentrified Brooklyn neighborhood after spending 15 years in prison. Well, Trey's back for a second season. He's still catching up on the things he missed, including the birth of his kids. Here's a sneak peek. Were you in the delivery room when the twins were being born? You know I didn't meet the kids until they were four. What's up, Trey? The guys at the halfway house all got to see their kids being born. You know, they coach, they cut cords. Even Bobby coached the birth. Anyway, please tell me you filmed it. I would love to see my kids being born, even if it's videotape. Yeah, I mean, one of my girlfriends was in a delivery room with a camera, but I don't know where that tape is at. And Tracy Morgan joins us now. Tracy, good morning. Hi, Trace. Oh, so good to How see you. you. Pleasure. God bless. It's always good to see you guys. Good to see you. I'm honey. feeling great. Good. You look great. We oh, had a great you. conversation a, a couple of weeks ago at your home talking about this yeah. show yeah. and how much it reflects your real life and how you wanted to bring pieces of your own story to this show. Well, it's not just me, but it's people that have contributed to my life and to me as a man and a person and as a stand-up. Like Jimmy Mack, I call it the last OG because he was my OG. He was the first person I met in show business professionally. The very first, so he showed me where the landmines were and how to do a lot of stand-up and how to move the mic stand in the back and use your environment on stage. And so I passed that on to the youth, like Michael Shea and people like that how to do the stand up right. Trace. And so that's why I call it, but not just me, not just my story, but people I know. Yeah. yeah. People I know. You just look at your life, Trace, and think to yourself, because I remember after the accident when you first came in here, and I remember looking at you and I thought to myself, this guy's going to come back. But did you ever imagine it would be in this way? I mean, you're doing this successful television show. Well, I got to correct you. I world. never came back. I just never left. Hmm. I've always been right here. I promise you I ain't going to leave you. I'm going to be here till I die, making you laugh mm -hmm. and telling the truth. And that's, I mean that. And the show is about second chances. And, man, mm -hmm. did you well, get a, a second chance? Thing. We're yeah. coming up on the five-year anniversary of the, the wreck that yeah. took the life mm -hmm. of Jimmy Mack, who you mm -hmm. just spoke about, and almost took yours. Yeah. How is that? A couple that? Of people, Artie Fuqua, yeah. mm -hmm. Jeff Malaya, the drivers. Yeah. So how is that reflected in The Last OG, this idea of second chances? Forgiveness. Mm-hmm. It's always forgiveness and love is the most powerful thing in the universe. So it's all about forgiveness. Shay didn't have to let me back in my kid's life. But if you remember in an episode when she threw the brick through the cop coven, <laughs> at the end, very end, she was remembering that she loved me. Mm -hmm. So she forgave me and we moved forward. That's what forgiveness is about, moving forward. And that's why I love this show, because it's a kind show. It's a dark premise. Let's not forget it's about crack. It's about prison. Mm. But we are color in a dark place. And that's what it's about. I told you before, this show is not a show about the community. Mm -hmm. It's a show starring the community. In real life, um, Tracy, who did you have to forgive in order to be in this place after everything that's happened to you? The driver of the Walmart truck. Mm -hmm. you know, I had to pray to God for that type of strength. I knew it was an accident. He has a family. And he didn't do nothing to me. He did something for me. When I was able to forgive him, it made me a better person. What was that moment? In what moment did you forgive him? Do you remember? I was it? in the hospital. It was yeah. raining. It was about three in the morning and something came over me and I just got grief and I started crying. I closed my eyes in the bed and I just, I was, I didn't know, I was, my face, I was, God, please give me the strength to forgive him. And it was done. Mm -hmm. 14 months later, I hosted SNL. Wow. So that's how you are able to be strength. You get your strength. You have forgiveness is for you to move forward with your life. Because mm -hmm. if I hadn't done that, I would be bitter. Mm -hmm. Kill my friend. He hurt my friends badly. He hurt mm -hmm. me badly. I would be bitter. So I had to do that. Mm -hmm. It had to be done. We talked about when we were speaking earlier. Also, those who trespass upon you, mm -hmm. you must forgive them for they know not what they do. Mm. Mm -hmm. Your wife, uh, Megan, we were talking That's about her. <laughs> well, because That's you said movie. in those in those early... Not lean really, on her. She's my backbone. She's my strength. Yeah. In those difficult days, she was with you. You said you were lying on the couch. She was with you holding your hand the whole time. Uh -huh. Did she help you get to a place where you said, okay, my body's going to be all right now. I can get back and do the thing I'm good at, which is making mm -hmm. people laugh. Yeah, she never... She, even days when I start feeling sorry for myself, she never... Gave, she never gave up on me she always she you you want to do stand up again she's like that yeah you're gonna do it again don't even worry about it you're gonna do it again she knew she she's like rock 
She's a rock. She don't get moved. She ain't moved. She's not easily excitable about that <laughs> stuff. And she just, you're supposed to do this what you're here for. Yeah. Mm. And then, you know, that's my partner. Uh -huh. That's my wife. And she runs that house. Of course, I'm, just I bet yeah. she does. She does. She how does. She how about strength. the deal with me? You got to be a strong woman. <laughs> deal with someone like me, you got to be a strong woman. You're, you're always on top of current events. You know what's going on. You like to make some fun about some things. Mm -hmm. Jesse Smollett's been a big headline. Right. What are Tracy Morgan's thoughts on him? I just thought what he did was wrong. People could get hurt, you know. You don't know how to how to how to uh, Chicago police are going to respond to those type of calls anymore. Mm -hmm. You know that was that wasn't cool. It just wasn't an OG move. I don't judge nobody, but I'm just saying that right there wasn't a good move. Mm -mm. You know. That's what? all I have to say about that. Mm -hmm. And your friend Chris Rock over the weekend mm -hmm. at the That's NAACP what doing. Doing Image Awards. He's doing stand up. He was told not to. No, I don't he care. No. Right. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Chris did his thing. That's my OG. I love that. He inspired me. Do your thing. Yeah. Do your thing on stage. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Nobody's above a joke. Nobody. If you're above a joke, then you ain't a part of society. My man D.L. Hughley said that. Check out that interview with him and Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. That was dope. I watched it coming here, and it inspired me. You know, he said, uh, Everyone has a right to their opinion, and I value your opinion, but more, not more than I value mine. Mm -hmm. Point blank, and I'm gonna live by that. Have you? Uh, is this the new Tracy, or have you always been this way? Always been this way. Yeah, you OG, haven't my changed. My first OG was my dad. Yeah. He gave me knowledge of self. Yeah. And without knowledge of self, you lost. So I will always know who I am. I know what I'm about. I'm a 50 year old man. I don't play them games. I'm good. Mm. And you also have a star on the Hollywood Rock, Walk of Fame. That's not too shabby. Well, How'd that, that feel? Like, that is my legacy for my career. Yeah. But my legacy for my life is my kids. They're good people. My daughter, very smart, intelligent. Yeah. My sons, all three of them, intelligent. And that's my legacy. That's what matters. Look at them. They're mm. my reflection. Mm. Me and their mom. My first wife passed away. Mm -hmm. My second, then I got a second chance, not at just life, but at love with Maven, with Megan. Mm -hmm. So I'm fortunate. I don't believe in luck. If you want luck, go to Vegas, go to Atlantic mm -hmm. City. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. And you just and you ain't got to get hit by no truck. You ain't got to get shot, and you ain't got to get stabbed. God forbid you just lay down in your bed and just not wake up. Because mm -hmm. when he ready to meet you, he gonna meet you. Mm -hmm. So I just run my race. Mm -hmm. I love everybody: white, black, male, female, straight, gay. I love you, and ain't nothing you could do about it. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just talking. I just heard the interview, and we was talking about justification, quite a, uh, you know. Gender qualification, yeah. it, 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 being equal. Equal pay, yeah. Listen, when you watch the space shuttle blow up, there were women on board. And women that went to the bottom of the sea. So they can't get paid what we get paid? They're good enough to go to space and they're good enough to go down? No. If she qualified, give her the money. Mm -hmm. Give her the job. I want results in my business. Mm -hmm. And if she happens to be a woman, so be it. Give her the money, man. Tracy. Don't make me call the government. <laughs> Tracy, we love you. Tracy, you're love the best. You more. You're the best. Th yes. Thank you, honey. I'm going to keep it real from I'm... cradle to the grave. Oh, uh -huh. we know that, Tracy. All good, being funny. That's all I want to do. They at home laughing right now. <laughs> yeah, they are. Will be. Put some cheese in the grits. Oh, come on. The flounder. Find me some flounder. Goodbye, Tracy. Thank you. flounder right now. Tracy Morgan, season two of The Last OG premieres tonight on CBS. It is hilarious, as if we had to tell you that. On TV. CBS, excuse me. We're back in a moment, but first, this is today on Thank you, NBC, Trey. the last Trey. Day.